What would you say are the most useful values for living? And two, what does it look like to live life inside of your values? That's an interesting question because I don't think values sometimes are useful and sometimes they are. So <clears throat> how would you how would you determine if they are or not useful then for you? I don't think I have a relationship with values where I see them as useful. I have a relationship with values as though they're in stone. And sometimes they're very useful and sometimes they're not. But I'm in stone. I'm anchored. I'm that's it's what they are no matter what your value to them is. Right, right. So uh, mm, I let values be sovereign. And that's how I live. Mm, doesn't mean it's the right way to live, by the way. That's how you choose. So would, you, would that be the answer to your second question? What does it look like? Maybe it would well, look like you are being sovereign, perhaps? Uh, no, I don't. That, uh, if you get me the crown, I'll be okay. Um, <laughs> No, it looks like life, just living as we do. Wash, you know, they say before enlightenment, take out trash, light the fire, whatever. After enlightenment, take out the trash. Life is that. The, as I said in the beginning, the relationship that I have to life and to myself and to others is, is different. So life has more peace for me, has more ease for me, gives me more patience, which I need. We can talk about wisdom and time, but th th that's that's amazing. So wisdom wisdom provides, and the values that we have are mm, the container in which the wisdom occurs.